Hey, what's up? I got a lot of cool stuff. A Saddleman seat right here that's already installed. Thanks to Saddleman, but I don't know if, if you guys don't know, Saddleman support me, so they gave me that seat for free. I appreciate that. I, I have to disclose it, and regardless, I love Saddleman. I rock Saddleman, and you probably know that Saddleman is the way to go. Anyway, I got a Saddleman seat. I also got custom dynamic lighting. I have to put LEDs on everything over here. First of all, I have to move the bike because it's all this schmutz and garbage. So let me move the bike back and gonna take care of all these incandescent lights and everything. All there, let me move the bike first. All the good stuff from Custom Dynamics. That's the s and it's gonna be in a different video. Uh, all the upgrades. Here's the exhaust, the vents and hinds. Whew, got a lot to go. Anyway, let me push the bike a little bit so it's in a better place. And then, uh, you know, stock, uh, stock lighting is old fashioned and you need to replace it with LED. You've seen probably in the previous video, if you didn't, then please take a look. You've seen the light atrocious at night. Can't, literally can't see anything. I took a video of me riding the bike back from Connecticut, back to New Jersey. Unbelievable, I was riding, uh, beside me was another uh, road glide with a beautiful LED lighting. It's like night and day. And I'm in the night, so let me just move the bike over here. To all of you deuce, soft hill deuce people, um, this one is a 2004 and it has a fob, two fobs, and I'm not, not quite sure what the fob does. Probably it has to do with, won't probably won't let the bike start, but if you know a little bit more than that, let me know because I wasn't sure with the year 2004 what that transponder, what this here, this fob, this fob does. Probably it won't let the bike start without it. And it actually has a little button over here. And I don't think there's a, an alarm system on this. Uh, do me a favor, let me know. Let me show you what I got. Custom Dynamics are nice to me as well. They helped me out with my previous bikes. And this bike is no different. So I am getting, or I got actually, the 575 LED Halo headlamp. And uh, they have this. They have the one that's adaptive where it turns and moves. I just went simple. I wanted to keep it simple. Inside I did chrome. That's going to be replacing this guy right here. Because this is literally like, <laughs> like a candlestick. It's, un it's unbelievable. These, the turn signals, gonna get rid of the inside. I got inserts for them. I want it running white with an orange, uh, amber. I mean, when it's a uh, signal, when I'm turning the signal light on, I want it to shine, I want it to pop. So white, white, white. That's gonna be uh, coming off. And over here, I'm gonna go LED inserts on both turn signals. Now currently they serve only as, so only as a turn signal, but they don't run, work as running lights. So I actually got, and this is, as you can see, is uh, also incandescent, very weak. So what I did is, I think it's called, they call it the magic play, the triple play, the something play, the whatever play. It's like a little module that goes under the seat right here. And what it does, it turns electronically, it turns, there's a little sticker, circuit board over there that turns these three into a magic. These are gonna be running all time, all the time, along with these. So all three of these are gonna be running and this will continue actually strobing or any pattern of strobing if I want when I hit the brakes. That's one thing it does. Second thing is that you can actually make these running lights. They'll be running lights. And when I hit uh, the brakes, they're gonna light up. And when I hit uh, the turn signal, they're gonna be acting as turn signals. So that's all through the module that I'll show you right now. Here, that, this is the module. They call it the Module Smart Triple Play. Now what it does also, by the way, it's a load balancer because when you switch from uh, incandescent to LEDs, obviously the incandescent have way more load on them and uh, the bike doesn't know that and you start seeing the signal light uh, flashing really fast. So this actually puts a load on it and makes the LED flash in a proper sequence. So this also is a load balancer and it does all the magic thing that I told you. So this includes everything on it. I have links below, by the way, where you can pick this up from Custom Dynamics. These are the turn signals. This one is amber and white. This is gonna be for the front. Amber for turn and white for running. A lens, transparent lens. I'm not sure which one. I think I'm gonna use those in the front. This is, uh, this is the rear. These are actually the red light running and brake light. That's all I need actually pretty much. Oh, and the headlight I just showed you. So let me start the install. It's pretty simple, but let me show you anyway. Take a look, there's a little notch over here where you put a flat screwdriver and pop this cover off. I'll do that and let's 
that's it. We take this bulb off and we put our new one. You can actually see over here, if you look carefully, you can see the orange portion of the LEDs and the white portion. So the outer is the white. That's what lights up when it's running. And once you hit it as a turn signal, the orange portion lights up and that's what gives orange color on it. So a simple circuit board with the smart uh, circuitry in the back, LEDs assortment, and that's where the base of the bulb is. That's what replaces this. It's out, this goes in, simple. And there's actually a little place for a flat screwdriver where you can, and it's in. Yeah, you see, now it's running light. The running is white. And when I hit the click uh, turn signal, there's the orange, nice and bright. You see now it's running fast because of the load. There's no load over here. That's why I need the load balancer. Now I'm gonna take a clear lens that I just, cause I want everything in the front to look kind of, you know, chromed out. Pops in right there, right there. Oh, it's actually very cool. <laughs> look at the difference between the front uh, headlight and that one over there. And obviously the orange one right there. Let's do the other side. As simple as that, actually. Let me test it out. Yeah, both sides look great. Right? Now let's take care of this guy. <clears throat> kind of like this. Actually like this very much. Oh, very, pretty simple. This ring, I might need this ring. I'm not sure, we'll know in a second. What's always nice about a custom dynamic stuff, it's just plug and play. It's just gonna go in here, slam inside and, and we're done. I don't, so just make sure when you take, when you replace the old la, uh, lamp, the old light, you see this, this ring? This ring actually needs, needs to come with you to the new one. And there's an orientation where that latch right over here on the bottom, that helps two grooves over here on the top to connect with two notches over here on the top. So it like, it goes in properly and it, it posi positions itself in the right orientation. You see, this is in the right groove and here it's on the right groove. That's because I have that ring that I took from the other one. There you go. That bolt. And yeah, <laughs> very nice. <laughs> I'll show you at night later on. Let's see the high beams. Okay, high beams work too. Looks perfect. What an improvement, but we'll see it really, a big difference we'll see at night. Let me put the back ones in. It's the easy part, right? Same concept as before. Yeah, red turn signal and turn signal. And after we put the triple play inside, it's gonna tie them all up to do all the functions that I want. Yeah, and it is fun to, you know, to be hooked up with a company that actually sends you stuff for you to make videos and show. I choose only companies that, I'm, that I like their products. That's the truth. Because as an influencer, you get a lot of influx of people offering their products. The biggest problem is you get a product that, product that is no good. What do you do? What do you say? Oh yeah, it's a great product just so you can have it. I don't work like that. In the beginning, that's what happened a few times from some people on Amazon sent me stuff and I did the whole install and it was like pure garbage. So I called up the marketing guy and I said, listen, two options is either I, uh, and that's after I spent like two, three hours on a video. There you go. On a video, highway pegs that were, that were, that were pure garbage, let's put it that way. And I was, there was no way I was going to put them in the channel and say, and praise them and say, oh, how good they are just because I got them for free. And I just, I contacted the guy and said, listen, if I post the, this video, then uh, it's going to be pretty bad because I'm going to tell the truth. Sorry, you wasted my time. I didn't know better. I should have done my research myself, but I'm not going to post them. So he's like, yeah, send them back to me. No, I'm not sending them back to you. I'm not going to waste my money since shipping out this piece of garbage. I'm just going to throw it away, man. So this time, now, from that point on, I only, you know, before I accept a product or I do a video or, or I, I see something, I make sure that, it's, that it's, it's decent, that it's good, and I can say some good things about it. And if there's some faults or things that I'm not happy about, I'm, I'm going to say that. I'm going to say that. But I try to avoid those situations where I get a pure garbage uh, product because then there's no point of me making that video. So bottom line is if I make a video, it's because I'm happy with the product. I avoid products that are no good. That's the way I do it. Okay, the next one. So yeah, custom dynamics. Thank you, I love your products, you know that. And I'm sure you guys know it as well. 
you like them as well. Because their products are quality. With a for a decent price as well. So the next one, then we'll do the triple play inside. Nicey, nicey. Okay, let's do it this way. Right, left. Now I'm gonna go under the hood, under the seat of the bike. Now, one of the biggest problems with this, with the Deuce, because they didn't make so many and it had a unique fender. This light, it's integrated into the fender itself. So not a lot of aftermarket companies make these fenders and Custom Dynamic did not have an LED for this. They stopped making it quite a while ago. So what I'll have to do is I'll have to remove this plastic cover and just find a bulb on Amazon, an LED bulb, just a bulb. So this is gonna actually be staying and I'll get a, a bulb. So this is the bulb, the load balancer and the, the magic strobe thing. Got it's everything, like I said, again, it's plug and play and it's got a little board over here on the back where you can actually program what strobe sequence you want. So let me read through the instructions and then I'll get back to it. I found this is the braid, the wire that goes to the back to the tail light. Just disconnect it and tap in with the plug and play. These are two actually additional cables and wires if you want to add like filler lights or other other lights, but this should be sufficient without even using these. Then we'll figure out where we put this. Of course it works. You see now they're, they're also running lights. Now let's see signal. And yeah, it's working. Perfect. Let's go to the left. Let's hit the brakes. Oh yeah. See, that's what I meant. You got different modules, sequences. I don't like that, uh, that fast strobing. I'm going to change it now for... Uh, a single like three, three flash, and then it goes steady. You can find that actually in their manual through these little, there's a little knob, there are little knobs over here. My beautiful wife is there. She just got home. Uh, so let me show you. I programmed it to do four flashes. What I did is again, I disconnected this one from that. These two were connected. I disconnected the two and took my device, one side in here, one side in there. And you see it just, it goes in, it taps in. Now this is going to be putting right here. And let me show you how it works. Signal light. Okay, but look at the brakes. Four flashes, then solid. One, two, three, four, then solid. All three lights do the same. Yeah. Yeah, doggies. I'll secure this somehow with tape somewhere over here so it's not in the way. And I don't know if I already told you. I probably did in the beginning of the new saddleman seat I got. It's pretty cool. It's uh, not as wide as the touring one that I have, but this one is uh, contoured. It hugs the fender really nicely. So I'll show you the bike very soon. You know, I'll do a walk around. You'll see the lights, you'll see the, the saddleman seat. So these are the two seats, one compared to the other. That's the original, what came on the bike. You can see a uh, nice lumbar support over there. And the biggest thing is like, it's really made for two up because on the top, it's very thick as opposed to this, to the new seat that I just got. You see how it's kind of the same, same shape, but at the at the rear, it takes a, a nice curve, a nice curve to go on nicely on the fender to flow with the lines. And on the back over here, it's, it's relatively thin. Let me flip it over and you can see from the top as well. I think it's also noticeable from the top. From the top, it's actually here you can see that is <clears throat> it's actually wider over here. It gives a little bit more support. Time will tell that that would be really significant if you're going a lot, a lot of miles. And that's not what this bike is for in my case. But anyway, in the back over here, as you see, this compared to this. Now let's see what it looks like. This is more like a solo extended solo seat, I would say. And this is a pure two up seat this is going to be dramatic i waited all the time till now so it's nighttime so you can actually see what the lights look like there <laughs> how about the high beam that was the high beam yeah can you see oh this is really bright really bright what a difference. Trust me, Cap. I'm not going to show you. I'm not going to take the bike out to ride to show you the difference between the previous and now. But just looking at the 
the beam out there and this is the back the back lit this is obviously neat we need to take care of that that looks kind of stupid big improvement very very big Finally, finally, I can see, <laughs> finally, bye.